Hi everyone, welcome back to Manda TME and welcome to a new game. Today we're going to be starting If Found. So as I understand that this is more of a narrative experience, so grab yourself something cozy and let's experience it together. I don't know if you guys are seeing a theme, but I've been playing a lot of Annapurna games recently. So, it all disappears so easily. Okay. So I don't get distracted. Oh, it's pink! Seven hundred fifty million kilometers from Earth, in orbit around Jupiter. I've never been so far before. I need to go further. Only one more jump, and I will be the first to reach Planet X. Guys, I'm already sucked in. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Is this like the color from space? Or color out of space, that's what it is. Ooh. I'm still alive. I did it! I'm directly within the orbit of Planet X. I've proved the theory is real. But where is it? I can feel its gravity. How can it be so small when its pull is so strong? These readings, something is wrong. Oh. Ringu? <laughs> this, a black hole. Sailors. Okay, this like eraser mechanic is very cool. Screen. That's so cool. Oh, wow. Oh, and now for something a little more conventional. Okay. This book belongs to somebody, December 3rd, 1993. My name is Keizo. Thanks to remember. 
One, your earliest memory is your doll holding you up on the bench, lifting you over the waves. Rain coming in, he said, best get back to your ma or your ma will worry. You finished two goes of college. Your... This book belongs... Oh, look at the little moats. So that's Kaizo. Oh. December 3rd, 1993. What happened? Why are we erasing ourselves? Oh. I'm home. Are we though? It's just the edges of what remains. My name is Kaizo. Your earliest memory is your doll holding you up on the beach, lifting you over the waves, rain coming in. He said, best get back to your, or your mom will worry. You finished two goes of college, your undergrad and your couldn't even survive on your own. You stick with it. Um, just ignore them. What, remember how small and insignificant you are need to be nice to people who bully you you don't need a relationship relationships don't work with you you can try to be normal and have a relationship that has never felt right and that's okay it's okay to be quiet and weird it is okay to be quiet and weird kaizo and anybody else who needs someone to say that and your masters everyone thought you couldn't even survive on your own you stick with it good for you kaizo when people stare, just ignore them. Think about the stars and the galaxies and dark matter. Whatever it is, remember how small and insignificant we are. You don't need to be nice to people who bully you. You don't. You only need to give power to things you want to give power to. You don't you don't need the things you don't want. Oh. Forgive me, Hugh. 52. Likes hosting the knitting circle in the house, watching winning streaks on Saturdays. Hates driving to Castle Bar to do the big shop, mowing the lawn, and the parish council. My favorite thing about her? Watching her slowly pick out a tune on the piano from a scrappy sheet of paper. It's mom. Brid. An Irish version of the name Bridget, a famous Irish saint. It's pronounced with a long E. Breed, similar to the English word breed, but the final D sound like the DM Bridget. So, breed. Breed. Almost like a J sound. Breed. 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 Castlebar is the closest large town to Ackle, a medieval market town. As the name suggests, it has a castle. Oh, I like that. Hold on. I just want to see... Okay. So it's like breach. Things to remember. She's from the mainland, from Westport. She jokes that she came for my da, but stayed for his five sisters. When I went to school, she started working in the post office. She only knows how to bake a few things, but she has great commitment to it. Mom is determined that me and Fergal will pass on her brown bread recipe. The only thing she kept of Da was his Sunday jacket for me or Fergal when we were old enough. We don't get a lot of stories about Ireland. 
not really. Fergal Mahew, age 30, likes Ga. A few scoops down the pub with the lads. Hates thinking. Fergal. Okay. The Gale. Gaelic Athletic Association. This is the organizing body for the traditional Irish sports of Gaelic football and hurling, which are very popular, especially in rural areas. The Ga is usually a big part of the local community. I don't know, I mean, I have Irish ancestry, but I don't actually know a whole lot about life in Ireland, except for watching Irish YouTubers. Um, probably should. Things to remember about Fergal. My favorite thing about him, we used to go and pick mussels together in Keem sometimes. He had a photo in his room of him at his Debs. Sarah is there before she left for Australia. He's smiling at the camera with his big goofy grin. He was the one who told me Da was in the hospital. He came and knocked on the door of my classroom and I knew at once something was wrong. His favorite film are James Bond films. He watches them religiously when they're on the telly. Yeah, I think most of my understanding of Ireland honestly comes from the show um, Dairy. Dairy Girls. December 4th, Saturday. I'm home for a month, then I can get back to Dublin. Fine, fine. It feels like I haven't been on the island in years. Research jobs, projects, long hours, doing inventory on the supermarket, anything to keep myself away. I wanted to write a letter to mom. Say hi, this is who I am, here's my name. Couldn't. Good memories here too, for what that's worth. Tea, hot water bottles, say your prayers, sleep tight, mommy loves you loves you. Tea in Ireland is always means the blend Irish breakfast. It's an extremely high caffeine variety, almost always drunk with milk and often with sugar too. Hot water bottle, a rubber container filled with boiling water and covered with a soft cloth. Electric blankets weren't common in Ireland in 1993, so hot water bottles were essential for cold winter nights. I absolutely love the eraser crumbs. I'm fine. Sunday. Back from mass. No air in this house. Nobody has drawn breath here since Da's wake. I can't stand sitting around, I need to breathe. I pedaled down the road like if I had just went fast enough I could leave it behind. Wake. Wakes are an important part of Irish funerals. It's an often upbeat get together held the night before the body is buried, where neighbors come over, reminisce, and tell stories that celebrate the life of the deceased. Sat on Keem Bay and watched the horizon. Keem Bay is a famous beach on the west end of Akko Island. It's incredibly beautiful with yellow sand and surrounded by hills and cliffs. Then column. Appeared column. Is this you? Well, haven't you changed? Good to see you again, column. Call me Kaizo. Nodded, smiled. You should meet my boyfriend, Jack. The weather approved. The brightest day since October. Hey, Space Geek. Monday the 6th. Fergal mentioned working at the post office again. No thanks. Too many faces. Post office. Kaizo's mother and brother work at the post office on Akil 
Post offices in Ireland are community hubs, not less because they connect locals to distant family. In addition to letters, they also hand out social welfare payments and government pensions, and often act as banks in rural communities. Many of them are part of a news agents or even a pub. Met Colm and Jack at the abandoned village and climbed up Sleevemore. Jack was all teeth and laughter, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed enthusiasm. I don't think anyone from Akil is that relaxed. The Abandoned Village. The Abandoned Village is a local tourist landmark on Akil, a village that was completely abandoned during the Great Famine of 1845 to 1849, but some of it was used up to the early 20th century as a summer village for farmers working on the mountain. Akil Island. Akil is the largest island off the coast of Ireland, connected by a bridge to the mainland. It's part of County Mayo, one of the five counties in the province of Connacht, pronounced Akil. That one I, at least I got correctly. Mostly. A band? You're kidding. No, really. With a young gun, Sean's a real talent. Sean's there it is. They're called the Banshee. Jack's on drums, of course. Call him on bassist, setting the groove. Sean sings and writes. I wonder what he's like. Tuesday. Got hungry, went to Dorgut to the tea shop. They made only decent they made the only decent sandwich on Aku. Telling and hearing five years of stories, Colm had much more than me. Come hang out with us if you want some space, Kaizo. We're out in the big house, out towards Kim. The three of us are living there together, it's amazing. Yeah, it's grand. At least after we've cleared out all the broken bottles. Come watch us practice. Dorgut. Is another village on the north coast of um, Akil. It's always been one of the tourist hubs on the island. Pronunciation, dug. Like the past tense of dig, ort rhymes with ert. So, dugert. Yeah. Okay. So, not dugert, it's dugert. The big house. This is a common nickname for the houses that belonged to the Anglo-Irish aristocracy in the years before independence. Grand is a typical Irish expression. As an answer to a question, it means fine. As an adjective, a grand old day, grand stretch in the evening. It means lovely or nice. Maybe the month will be grand. Old room, old habits, old home. It was nice to be fed and to sleep in my own bed, although it felt like a coffin so dark and so empty outside.
got up to think and to figure out how to talk to her. plan. To 12 a.m. December 8th. Things fall apart. Alrighty guys, I think before we have what is probably a very heavy conversation with mom, um, this is probably a good place to leave it. Um, yeah, I think a lot of us uh, will have a very visceral experience to having a really hard conversation, um, especially if we're If ever in our lives we haven't exactly fit a mold or we're bad fitting in one. So, alrighty guys, well, take care and as always, happy sipping.